Wanted to give an update of one week after spine surgery involving a hemilaminectomy and microdiscectomy. My name is Dr. Eric Broadworth, and I just wanted to share my journey on what to expect for anyone that is might be going through a similar surgery or looking into it. So I am one week out today. It is Friday. Uh, I had my surgery last Friday on May 19th and it has gone really well so far. So I'm very fortunate, um, but the pain that I was having, I was having pain into my glute and SI joint and all the way down my leg, uh, getting numbness and tingling and weakness into my big toe and into my foot, and it was awful before the surgery. I couldn't sit, I couldn't stand. Getting up from bed, I dreaded getting out of bed in the morning. It, it, it was really bad. Like I would just even go to brush my teeth and the pain would just come on and I would get my teeth brushed and then I'd have to go lay down. Since having the surgery, I have not had those symptoms. The pain has really cleared up. I can sit and stand without any issues. I am restricted by the surgeon. I can only sit for 30 minutes, three times a day. So pretty limited with that. But when I am sitting, it is comfortable and I can be pretty comfortable standing. It's really just been as tolerated. I've been up and moving around as, as much as I can and overall feeling pretty good. So I'm very fortunate there. Um, just, I would say get kind of tired and stiff and sore where they you know cut me in my back. Um, there's a small incision there. But other than that, it really hasn't been bad. Um, with regards to overall pain after the surgery, everyone's different. For me, I've been very fortunate where the pain really hasn't been much. Uh, even with regards to where they, again, put the incision and, and cut me open, um, it's just been stiff and sore. I was taking Norco and opioid medication after the surgery for the first couple days. So Friday, right after surgery, you know, I was taking it then. Saturday, took it three times that day. And then Sunday, by the time Sunday rolled around, I was like, I don't think I really need to take this anymore. So I took it more as a precaution. I took it in the morning and then at night, but not any other time during the day. And I have not had to take any opioid medication, any Norco since then. So I've really just been icing since Monday and it's Friday now. And I really, have noticed I haven't had to ice too often either. Just, you know, if it's getting a little sore or uncomfortable, I'll throw some ice on and lay down. But very, very fortunate when it comes to that. So that's really my update on what I have noticed after one week of surgery. I got to listen to the surgeon. And again, every surgeon's recommendations are going to be a little bit different. But I am off work for a few more weeks at least. My follow-up will be on June 12th. So it's about three, four weeks after surgery that my follow-up is. And until then I can do no bending, no lifting. I'm limited to you know less than 10 pounds and no twisting. So I gotta be really careful with my movements. And that's one thing that I have noticed is when you're feeling good, you really have to, I just have to keep myself in check that I don't go and do any of those movements just because we want to protect the area. We want that uh, area where they cut me open everything to scar up and heal appropriately. So just making sure no bending, lifting, or twisting. We call that the BLT in physical therapy and with the surgeon. So I can have the sandwich BLT, but no BLT, no bending, lifting, twisting. So, um, other than that, really all, all good things. And I'm very fortunate that this surgery has been successful. If you are having any questions about my recovery, or if you have any questions, if you're thinking about this type of surgery, please put it in the comments below. I'm happy to answer those questions for you and help you out.